Now, what is yeah and so what? Well, I guess you could go to imadeamess.com to find out, but what really is yeah and so what? Okay. My business card. The camera's running. <laughs> We're at the um, firehouse, the fire station here on 8th Avenue. What fire numbers? What station number is this? 8? G213. It's my old precinct. I think it's fire station number 8. Anyway, we got people out here at the um, crawling place. It's a beautiful day. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day for this, which is nice. And people are relaxing. They said it's been kind of slow today here. Maybe everybody voted earlier. You know, the polls open at 6 a.m. Today is Indiana's primary. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And don't forget, even after Indiana's primary, watch the results on CNN. And then you still have to help put Barack Obama in the White House. So for yeah and so with productions, I see a lot of people with Obama yard signs on their car. Not just a bumper sticker, but the yard sign. It's pretty good. I don't want to get hit in the back of the head with a rock. All right, running out of tape. You know, it's iffy if, if um, Senator Clinton will get to the general election. And what you said was a very interesting statement. Could you repeat it? I'm a Democrat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to vote for the Democratic uh, nominee and our candidate in November. Okay. <laughs> so are you... You can say you're voting for Hillary. It's okay. I'm early seven. No, what you said is that I'm going to vote for Hillary today. But when Obama wins the general, when Obama wins the nomination, I'm going to vote for him in November. I said whoever, if, if he. Ms. Morton, you said it was so much conviction that it, know, it made my but, heart leap. But to put it on camera. That's, uh, it's the truth. You actually, yeah, you're convicted yeah. already. It's like, hey, yeah. when he wins the nomination of the party, I, I'm, I'm going to vote for I'm him not, I'm in not, November. I'm not saying that, though. Yeah, I understand. I'm saying that whoever wins, yeah. that's who I'm going to vote for. But you actually plan to vote for him in November, so that's I, a very whoever. positive... That is the most positive statement that I can get out of a Hillary supporter. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you have any uh, Hillary uh, I don't people know. on the... Uh, I don't no. know. Okay. I voted for Obama early. Yeah. You know. And you're supposed to. Well, and no. It's, I was a Hillary supporter in the very beginning before I knew he was running. Right. Then I thought he was yeah. just exercising his rights. Because yeah. I already you know, knew about yeah. Senator Obama. He was a good right. guy. Uh -huh. But then I heard that speech in Iowa. And then I just threw all the Hillary oh. stuff out the window. Oh. And it's like, this is what people were talking about. Oh. The same thing that people, the same stuff that people say to him about being boiled down and, and you're uh, naive and stuff, they say that to me. It's like, black people can't own anything. We don't have any television oh. stations. Oh. We don't have any newspapers no. that look like a mainstream no. newspaper, and we no. don't. I say we can. As your counselor, didn't I try to encourage you oh, to I go don't on? You don't yeah. remember? But I know you you made it, you physically made it possible for me to visit colleges so that I could understand. Okay, right. That's what you did. Right. So, so I already you, knew yeah. that it, yeah. it's possible if you say yes, you can do it. Yes, right. you can. Right. You can't just See, say no to everything. It was possible for me because my parents made the sacrifice and sent me to college a hundred years ago. And, you know, then I, my sons, uh, Jeffrey and Larry, they, you know. But see, here's the thing. Once you get out of college, you still got to gather all of the nuts together and say, we can have something comparable to what oh, mainstream oh. has. All you have to do is put the work into it. And yes, it's a lot of hard work. Nobody's paying me for this. Nobody paid me for this. This came out of my pocket. I'm doing this on my time. This is what this is my you. contribution. I I'm going to you. do it. Nobody has to ask me. I know it needs to be done. I don't know what to do. Because I happen to be well trained. But thank you, Mrs. Lord. I gotta get this. This is so nice. I'm putting it on that website on the front of that card it says. See she got it. That's the word. That's right. <laughs> And I'm my antecessor. Oh, this yeah. is such a nice shirt. And I gotta get these earrings. My co-worker made it for me. She made these? No, I made those. <laughs> see, these are earrings. She has an Obama earrings. Look. <laughs> she, see, we are excited 
about Senator Barack Obama. It is impending uh, win for this primary. We're going to vote for him in a general election. You know, um, I heard a woman who supports Hillary. She said, oh, no, I'm, I'm going to vote for Senator um, Barack Obama in the November election. She's a Hillary supporter. And this is what she's Hillary's in her peer group. So, but do you hear what she said? But did you hear what the Hillary person said? I'm going to vote for Barack Obama in November. Right. Isn't that nice? I said, girl, you just sealed a deal, didn't you? And she said, oh, no. I said, no, no, no. That's what you said now. That's what you said. I was like, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. Wouldn't that be nice? I wonder how we would act. How, how would we act? You know what, once he get the nomination, we gonna be jumping out in the street shouting. Do you know that? Yeah. In front of my house? Yeah, I'm not going nowhere that night. Well, you know, we, whatever, you gonna be shouting. You know, Hillary supporters you know, kind of, when, when you I know. <laughs> when I'm gonna be at home. Valley, when I went to the valley and went up in Roosevelt, I shouted. Mm -hmm. I just did my little dance. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I said that was it. All I want is a ticket to the inaugural ball. Obama, inaugural ball. That's going to be, that's going to be it. That's all I want. But you know what, those ribbons, those big ribbons, those are nice. Yeah. I think they're nice. Yeah, you have to, you have to work to pose, sweetie. Oh, you got a button. Oh, you, oh, you want to see my other, my other little thing? Okay, come on. It looks like a paddle. Yeah, paddle. <laughs> you giving out swats. Look at Hillary's butt. Oh! That's, that's Girl, how'd you, you made that? Where'd you uh, find that at? Uh, my co-worker did this for me. You know, I'm just an Obama fan. This stuff is going to be so worth something. Yeah. So it is. Yeah. Well, I'm going to make my okay, rounds. Okay, yeah. Don't, be, don't go away. Were you at, were you at uh, Michelle Obama's thing? No, I didn't get to go. Tell me about it. It was excellent. It was excellent. She, uh, you know, that was a last minute stop. She wasn't scheduled to come come there. And she flew in from um, North Carolina. And, and then once she did her speech, she was going to Indianapolis. Okay. So she came in and made her little speech and came out and shook people's hands. What did she have on? She's she had on black and white. What, she, what you saw on the um, news this morning, that's what she had on. Okay. A black pants, white shirt with a little black little belt around it. Okay. And uh, she spoke about the reason why we need to vote for Obama. Isn't she already the first lady? Yes, yeah, she is. Doesn't she look like? She, it's like yes, she was she born is. to be first lady. Yes, yeah, she is. Isn't it nice? Yes, yeah, she is. You need to go and see Councilwoman Stanford's hat. She coming right across the street right now. Okay, we're gonna go. And that's for my blog. Okay, you want the front and the back? What's in the back? Let's see. Oh, girl, and all the way. Right. Oh, look at you! Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Look at this. Look what people and Gary do for Barack. Absolutely. We are all excited. All excited. Obama always. <laughs> there you go. Good morning. Yeah, I'm selling you something, but hey. The name of the book is called Short Stories Real Life. Another title for this book could be Tales from an Urban Jungle. But I thought that that would be a little bit corny, seeing how I'm from Indiana. Well, this book is for sale on stores.lulu.com forward slash L. Jones McLeod. Now, it's a collection of news stories I've written that are based in the Midwest, Northwest Indiana to be exact. Locals should buy the books because they may be in it. Now, if you aren't native to the area, this book contains well-written news stories about anyone from the governor of Indiana, Mitch Daniels, to Robert F. Kennedy. There is also a story about the world-famous band Frankie Beverly and Mays when they performed at a summer concert in the Miller section of Gary. A beachfront concert at that. It was lovely. A beachfront concert. Oh, this would make excellent light reading. It isn't often local news stories are accessible to those who live outside of the area. Most news, before it becomes national or international news, starts out as a local news story. Think about it. Maybe some of the information in this book could be of use to you.